a sobering punishment for a crime that cannot be undone. Denali Brimmer will spend the rest of her life behind bars. She's been sentenced to 99 years in prison after being involved with the murder of her best friend, Cynthia Hoffman. The case goes darker and deeper from there. Brimmer carried out the murder after Darlin Schilmer offered her $9 million to do it and to film the act. Now, investigators say Schilmer catfish Brimmer. He posed online as a millionaire named Tyler, but that was far from the truth. And of course, we are here now. Joining us to talk about it, therapist Dr. Angela Jones and Chief Jimmy Evans from Fort Bend County. When you see someone pushed this far by a scam artist, Chief, what are your thoughts on it? Again, you know, we talk about uh, social media safety, uh, not knowing who you're speaking with, and, you know, for a long period of time, she really believed this guy, Tyler, was a millionaire, and he convinced her to carry out such a horrific crime. Now, are the scam artists or the catfishers that good, or are some people in public just that gullible? I think it's both. I think it's both. Uh, these people spend a lot of time in reading and, and developing a protocol, a method that they're going to attack some of these uh, people that are vulnerable and uh, th they think they're aware of what's going on and they find themselves in a bad situation and they actually think they're in a good situation. And Dr. Jones, when I see something like this, I think someone who may be lonely or someone who's more than willing or eager to please. Yes, I, it's a little bit of both. I mean, it, you have to get the right person to do it. The fact that it was a friend of hers and someone from somewhere else was able to catfish her. And let's her. digest that. Yeah. Let that sink in. Mm -hmm. This was one of her good friends she murdered. Yeah. Yes. And it didn't take that much. It took a complete stranger who didn't really have to prove his identity, prove the money um, to murder her friend. So th this is something that was already in them. I would believe that it was already in them to do. You mm -hmm. know, it didn't take much to convince someone, I'm a millionaire, I'm going to give you $9 million, not even money on the front and nothing, to, to, to murder someone. And, and not only was it her friend, it was someone who had um, a disability. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you have to think like, if you emailed me or if you try to catfish me, that's not going to happen. But you have to get the right person. You have to get it at the right time. And he knew who to pull on to do what he wanted to do. And it's a horrific act to record it, to send it to him. It, it's just, it's horrible. And let's psychoanalyze mm -hmm. from afar, mm -hmm. from which at your best ability, Cynthia Hoffman here. <sighs> you know, lonely, um, probably rejected, uh, wanted... Um, to fit in, probably, um, and wanted someone to, like, accept them. So, it, you know, I, all I want is someone to, like, think I'm cool, I'm going to do something like this, and they'll accept me. It wasn't about just the money. It was about... And I was about to say, I didn't mm -hmm. hear you say the word greed. And, you know, well, yes, absolutely, there's greed. But I don't know how smart of a greedy person that is. I mean, if you were truly greedy, you would probably say, I want money now, right? And then mm -hmm. say, I want some money now, and then I'm going to want some money later. That's what I'm saying. It didn't really have to take much. Right. I don't have to send you a dime. I just have to tell you I'm gonna send you nine million dollars in order for you to do that I'm not sure if greed would be on the top of the list mm -hmm. I think greed would probably be at the bottom now greed will probably be more intact for the other people that were involved the people that she had drive away or the friends that she had involved definitely greed with them but not with her and chief is this something that we hear about people falling prey to scams like in in your community do you see this? Do you hear this a lot? And you have to say to yourself, what the hell were you thinking? Uh, it yes. just doesn't add up. Yeah, not just the catfishing, but just regular scam, uh, social media, you know, just clicking on, on a banner, and then next thing you know, you find yourself, your bank account empty, mm -hmm. and in this situation, being catfished, or either someone saying that they're the IRS, and they're... they're you know, we have a lot of scams where people will call and say, hey, we have a warrant for your arrest. You need to go to Western Union and send this money. So there's all types of scams out there that people got to be And you guys warn people. We as members of the media also warn people. But yes. it never gets to everyone for some reason. Well, because these people that do these scams, they're constantly, they stay up all night and all day and thinking of ways 
to con people. So it never stops. It's a revolving uh, occupation, and, and they stay up on the trend just like you know, all the other trends that are out there. So they don't just sit around and use old tricks. Mm -hmm. Every day, every week, they're trying to come up with uh, a better way in order to scam people. And, and Dr. Jones, we, we've always heard in our last 30 seconds we have here, or we've always seen like older people mm -hmm. being victimized because family members may not be calling them. They may be lonely. Right. But for someone who may be, you know, uh, not elderly, mm -hmm. but uh, a person in society, right. working, doing their lives, how do they fall prey? In the 20 seconds we well it's to. AI I mean right now you could have someone call you and sound like your mom and ask you to send money to them I mean like you said they're getting smarter they're getting wiser they're not only targeting the elderly they're targeting the young people that are on social media that you would think would be more privy to this so like scamming is like a multi-billion dollar business and they're just getting they're just getting better but in this story I think there was a lot there was a lot deeper hate um, that was going on in this whole situation. And that's for the friend. Mm -hmm. mm. Unfortunate. Yeah.